Yep, he must be coming back. Oh, he's got you. Yep, I got him. There you go. Everybody, welcome to today's episode of LT Outdoors. Uh, fishing this week has been terribly slow thanks to this weird weather we're having in Michigan. The temps just keep going up and uh, keep messing up the ice. As you can see in the background there, Uncle Dale's out hopping holes right now, trying on his bucket. And you can see the sloppy ice, it's all slushy, it makes for really hard travel. And the fishing just is really crappy. But today we're out here on beautiful Beaver Lake and uh, I believe it's still Alcona County. It might be Alpena. Not quite sure, but yeah, that's where we're at today, guys. Uh, trying to get into some perch, maybe some walleye. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Yeah. First fish of the day. Using a uh, jigging Rapala here with a little piece of wax worm on it, just because the fish have been kind of finicky. Maybe we'll get into some bigger ones. Here we go. There we go. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're here for today, guys. Get a pile of these, it'd be real nice. There's a couple coming from the back, though. Oh, yeah, I see them. That's a bigger one. He's coming in fast, too. Yeah, he is. He's coming for you. Try and get it out of the way here. Come on, baby. Oh, he missed it. Oh, don't spook. There he comes. He's got he's on it. Wow, why is he spooking? He goes to grab it and then he spooks. Yep. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Feel decent? Yeah, it feels better. Maybe a seven, seven and a half, maybe. Oh, yeah. It's a seven. Oh, well, he came flying in for it. Just a little one. There was like three more down there. I wonder if they were all small. See, a lot of times when you throw a fish back, the fish that are down there take off real quick so I always try to get my jig back down before I release the fish oh yeah I got a whole school coming in now oh yeah I don't know if that one's quite big enough I mean you can keep a perch any size there's no size limit on a perch here in Michigan or any pan fish really but on certain lakes I like to keep them certain sizes yeah it's small I think that whole school is a bunch of small ones but that's okay if I can keep the school hanging around that'll draw in some bigger fish yeah he might be oh he spit it just as you set the hook Got him. Uh, yeah, he might make it. Pushing it. He's got you. Oh, he spit yeah. it. He had you for a bit there, oh, Dale. Right there. Yeah, he had a hold of you. 
Gotcha. That might be a seven. Yeah, I was going to say, it didn't look that bad. Maybe an eight. That feels heavier. Feels heavier. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one. Seven and a half, anyways. Yeah, at least. Nice fish. Ooh, that looked like a nice one. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Take that one. There, that looked like another good one. Uh, I don't know about that one. That one might be a little small. Yeah. <sighs> Another little bitty. Time. Hey, that ain't bad. I'll take that. Using that jig and Rapala, just tipped with a waxy. That yeah, little bitty. Like a good one. Oh yeah, another nice one. That looked like a little one. <laughs> he swallowed it though. Another little one. Not averaging very good today, folks, but they sure do like this little, this jig and wrap. I never knew they made them that small, and when I seen that they did, I bought, I made sure I picked up a bunch, because I'm always up for, for trying new lures, but I knew a, a jig and wrap that small would be perfect for panfish. Little guy, man, he came in fast for it though. Got all three of the treble hooks in his mouth. <laughs> I had the same wax worm on here for all day, I think. Don't think he'll make the cut. <laughs> Ooh. Good fish. Good fish.
Oh, I was hoping it was a walleye. <laughs> they might be a keeper though. Swallowed that. Yeah, gonna have to go measure him. All right, guys, that pike, he's uh, almost 26, so they only gotta be 24 here in Michigan. He's gonna be a good eater. So yeah, he's going on the ice and reset the tip up, see if we can get a wally. Ooh. There we go. Come right back in from getting my tip up and I get a keeper. I'll take that. Another little one. Shouldn't have set the hook on him. I think there were some bigger ones coming. Something's down there whacking the camera. Whoa. Something's really hitting the camera. <laughs> <clears throat> now there's a perch down there guys pretty good size perch too but he has been beating that camera i mean he keeps smashing into it he's been doing it for yeah there he goes again he has been nailing this camera for a good 10 minutes i don't know what his deal is i've i've heard of camera shy fish before and i've seen it but i've never seen him where they're just pure angry at the camera. <laughs> so, yeah, this is very weird. And like I said, it's a good-sized perch. He looks to be maybe 10 inches, and he just keeps coming up and whacking that camera, which it's not helping my fishing at all because that camera getting spun around all the time keeps spooking the other fish. Oh, yeah, hopefully that perch just gets out of here soon. Or maybe he got it all out of his system. <laughs> Crazy perch. Nope. <laughs> there he goes again. That's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. But there's something about that camera that he does not like. <laughs> yeah, he's darn near swung it all the way around a couple times. I wish there was a way I could spook him off. Because he's not wanting to bite. He just wants to whack that camera. That's all he seems to care about. <laughs> Oh, she dropped it. Oh, that was a good fish, too. Dang. Guaranteed that was a walleye. <laughs> 